Guided Meditation 6 Finding Inner Peace Please sit quietly, close your eyes and be comfortable in a chair with a backrest. Keep your feet on the ground, firmly planted. Keep your hands open in your lap and just observe your breath. As you observe the breath with your eyes closed, your experience of the breath is that it is just a sensation. The sensation arises, is experienced, and then it subsides. This is the nature of all experience. All experience is either a sensation or a perception, which is a sense perception, or an image, or a feeling, or a thought, that arises in our awareness that is known in our awareness, that subsides in our awareness, and in fact is made out of our awareness. Notice as you observe your breath that you can't hold on to it. If you try, you will suffocate. This is the nature of all experience. No experience is graspable because all experiences arise and subside eternally in that which we call now. We can observe experiences and we can let them go. We cannot hold on to them. If you try to hold on to them, if you grasp, if you cling, even to a thought or anything we experience, the same quality happens. The same quality of experience happens. It's called suffocation. Holding on causes suffocation. Letting go is freedom. So just observe your breath now. And now bring your awareness into your heart and mentally ask yourself, who am I? What am I? Don't try to answer the question, just settle into being. What is it that wants to know, what am I? Am I the changing body? Am I the changing mind? Am I the changing experience of the world? Or am I the silent witnessing awareness in which all experience is a ceaseless change? Who or what am I? And now ask the question, what do I want? What 
What is my deepest desire? Don't try to answer the question. Just allow any sensation, image, feeling or thought to spontaneously come to you. What is my deepest desire? And now the third question. What is my purpose? Why do I do what I do? How can I serve? How can I express my unique skills and talents in the service of my fellow human beings? And finally, ask the fourth question. What am I grateful for? When we practice gratitude, just by asking that question, then the sensations, images, feelings, thoughts that arise from that question, they spontaneously open the door to abundance consciousness. What am I grateful for? Allowing any sensation, image, feeling or thought to spontaneously come to you. And now let's go a little deeper into the meditation by slowly deconstructing our notion or our story of who we are. Mentally repeat to yourself your full name. Okay, now you can stop saying that, but just bring into your awareness all the experiences that are associated with that name. With that name, that body, that form. Allow your awareness to fill up all your concerns, all your worries, all your relationships, good and bad, all your deadlines, everything that's happening in your life now. These experiences are associated with who you think you are right now. I'm Carlos Rivera. I'm Maria Rosa Gonzalez. And now maybe just drop your last name and repeat your first name to yourself. I am Carlos. I am Maria. Now bring into your awareness any memories that you have. Joyful memories, happy memories, the best moments of your life. See if you can recall any moments of joy and wonder and playfulness, especially from your childhood. Allow sensations, images, feelings and thoughts from memories of a long time ago to come into your awareness.
and now you can drop your name all together. Just say, I am without any memory, without any experience, without any form, without any belief attached to it. I am. If you want, you can replace the I am with the mantra Aham. Aham. Just for a couple of minutes. When thoughts arise or sensations arise or images arise or feelings arise, just go back to repeating the mantra Finally, drop the mantra. Just rest in being, rest in awareness. As existence, awareness, being. This is fundamental awareness, to be aware of being aware is the source of all thought, all feeling, all emotion, all images, all perceptions, all sensations, awareness. This is the whole mind. Awareness has no shape, but it gives rise to experiences of shape and color and form. Awareness has no sound, but it makes the experience of sound possible. Awareness is not in time, has no location, but allows us to have the experience of time and location. Awareness is who we are.
The wisdom traditions of the world call it the true self. The true self that is never born, that is not subject to death. The true self which many spiritual traditions call the soul. In Eastern wisdom traditions, when we speak of the true self, we also know that it is ancient. It is unborn. Fire cannot burn it. Wind cannot dry it. Weapons cannot shatter it. It is not in space nor in time, but it is our eternal home. So now, for the next two minutes, just rest in being. Rest in awareness. Rest in the self beyond all descriptions and all the roles you play as a human being. It may be your destiny to play an infinity of roles, but you're not the roles you play. You are the alert witness, awareness and consciousness in which those roles come and go as part of the scenery. Resting in awareness is also called waking up. Waking up from the projections that we call mind, body and world. Just be aware of being aware. ready, you can open your eyes. Remember that your physical, emotional and spiritual heart all function together in synchronicity. While a healthy physical heart beats at about 72 times a minute, in times of stress, it should be paid attention to through meditation and relaxation. Your physical heart responds to your emotions. If you're angry, frustrated or sad, your physical heart will respond. The same is true with meditation, relaxation and joy. Additionally, your intuitive spiritual heart can be brought to your awareness with the mantra, loving awareness. While your microbiome is sending messages from your brain to your body, and then messages from your body to your brain through diet, exercise, sleep, meditation, yoga, breathing, social interactions and environment, heart disease can begin to heal and eventually even be reversed. We hope you have enjoyed this breathing exercise. Please subscribe to the Chopra Well and don't forget to ring the bell so that you can get notifications when we post new meditations.